Hello, my name is Sharon Perry. I'm the Assistant Superintendent at Conewaga Valley School District. Formerly, I was the Director of Career and Technical Education in the State College Area School District. I was fortunate to be a part of the development and the implementation of Center Ready. So I'm here to talk to you about the why. Uh, first and foremost, the why is for us to prepare future workers. What we hear from industry in our community, and data suggests that this is from across the country, there are six core skills that need to be focused and developed not only as a worker, but also as a student. So I'm excited to share with you my experience today. Okay, I'm gonna be ready. What is Center Ready? What does that mean for us as educators in our schools? It's a question that I hope to be able to answer for you today. So Center Ready, the six core attributes, not only is it workforce preparedness, but they're good core skills, even for students in our schools. Um, it has to be imparted of our culture. It has to be something that we're integrating fully because our students are truly a microcosm of society and our workforce is indicating that these skills are necessary. So I'd like to talk a little bit about what that looked like for me when we were beginning to implement this program. And what we found is it not only applies to technical teachers in terms of workforce development, but it also applied to the citizenship within our schools that these are the attributes that most educators in our community found important. As a school community, as I've indicated earlier, we have indicated that there is a sense of urgency for the development and the assessment of these core skills. So what's really exciting is to see the teachers bring these skills to life within the context of each of their content areas. So we have the privilege and the opportunity to have conversations centered around what do these skills actually look like in classrooms and in the larger community. Um, so we were happy to bring faculty on board to learn more about it. And what we found was that all teachers agreed that these are skills not only as a student, but as a worker. So they worked very, very hard um, in collaborating with each other, as well as the larger school community to identify um, and also to assess whether or not as partners with us, whether or not these students could be identified as center ready. So what I found um, as the director and working with faculty and staff, they wanted a resource for them in each of their classrooms. So I was pleased that our Chamber of Business and Industry of Center County was able to provide us with content specific posters that teachers could hang in their classrooms and refer to from time to time. So as an educational leader team, we did create a sort of a sense of urgency, if you will, you know, with our faculty and staff, students and parents, because no one could disagree that these six core skills are extremely important in the overall development of our students. So as an educational team, we came together and worked within each core skill within the context of our school to determine criteria measures that might help us identify and standardize uh, some examples and exemplars of students participating in activities that show us that for each of these six core skills that they could be potentially identified as center ready. Um, some of the data was in fact hard data that we're used to dealing with in schools such as a discipline record or attendance records, um, also work completion, those types of activities that, that we can measure very, very easily. However, another aspect are the qualitative attributes that students bring to them as a person. Um, those are the core skills in combination with both um, our, our demonstrated academic skills as well as work skills that we see emerging within our students. So it was quite an educational endeavor for us to talk about what that criteria might be, and this will certainly look different from school to school. A lot of questions that I receive as an educator is how is this actually implemented? So I'm excited to talk with you how we implemented this program within our school. So in our school's example, I was the overseer of this program. In many of our partner schools, however, it could have been a counselor, it could have been a dean of students. So it would be really critically important for your particular school to identify who is the overseer of this program. Um, 
There are plenty of opportunities to advertise either through brochures for students as well as for teachers um, to indicate what this program is and what it looks like for our schools. So what we found is that each of our teachers uh, did a brief presentation for each class that they taught indicating that this is something that you could work towards. In our particular school, we utilize juniors and seniors. Um, so those students were given this information. You may identify in your school, however, that perhaps it's a senior only program, depending upon the context. Um, for us, we had mostly seniors and a handful of juniors that this program was advertised for. So as an educational leadership team, as I've mentioned earlier, we developed a criteria through the form of an application. Each of these applications was handed out to the students and they needed to create evidence in order for them to demonstrate mastery of each of these core skills. Uh, they also had as part of the application um, an essay portion where they needed to talk about why they wanted to be identified as the center ready worker and also for them to project where they saw themselves as a worker five to ten years from now. So it was a really great experience for me to work with the teachers and the students and the parents um, in order to be able to see and the actual evidence uh, that was provided by these students through this program. One thing that really stood out for me as being a first year participant of our Center Ready program was the fact that our students were recognized where they may not have actually been recognized before. So as educational institutions, we have um, intact many opportunities to recognize academic excellence, but there are not workforce development excellence recognition activities. So Center Ready really provided our school to identify and uh, to collect evidence for and to award students who demonstrated mastery in these six core skills. In our school, we had one example that really stood out to me in terms of student recognition. So we had a junior student who was recognized as center ready and she met all criteria and demonstrated much evidence that even as an educational leader, I was not previously aware of. I was pleased to see that. It enabled me to see my students in a different light, uh, so much so that being a part of this program, uh, she took the initiative and developed her confidence to be able to be trained as an EMT. And within three months of her being on the job as a certified EMT, she was recognized as the employee of the month. So in conversations with her, she said that the participation in the Center Ready helped her to develop her skills and to focus on skills that industry and the workforce was looking for. So for our final segment today, I'd like to talk about my personal testimony of my experience in our first year of our Center Ready program. So there are, as anything that we do in education, we always learn from our mistakes. And the one thing that really stood out for me is to have each of our student applicants uh, have a personal email. So what's, a, what's great about that is not only can we use that um, as part of the Center Ready program to share that information with future employers, it also enables us as an educational institution to track our students if we're doing any post-graduation surveys. So that's something that I would truly recommend is that uh, you enable your students to create personal emails so that you can keep in touch with them once they graduate. Another aspect of the Center Ready program that I found after the first year was how heartwarming it truly was for students who were not ordinarily recognized for their overall achievement. So in education, we have many, many mechanisms to recognize and award our students who are academically excellent.